When we calculate the product moment correlation coefficient, the two variables that you should be using should be coming from a bivariate normal distribution. So the horizontal axis and the vertical axis variables should be normally distributed. And one of the telltale signs of this is that the data is elliptically shaped. Okay, so it's the, it's the shape of a ellipse, and we've seen that previously, and we've discussed that in previous videos. Now, when you get some data and you calculate the PMCC, that data is coming from a much larger set of data. So a much larger set of data which we would refer to as the parent, essentially, of your sample. So uh, the parent population should be bivariate normal. Okay? So essentially we have our data, there's a whole load of it, and we take a sample of that data. So I randomly select from my parent population a sample, and I calculate the product moment correlation coefficient from that sample. Okay, And we refer to that as the sample product moment correlation coefficient, okay, or sample PMCC. So once I've calculated that, what I am interested in is to what extent or to how strong does that correlation need to be from my sample for me to infer that the population itself is positively correlated or negatively correlated or has any correlation. So essentially, imagine that you take a sample of data and you calculate that the product moment correlation coefficient of your sample is 0.8. Now, does that mean that the correlation of the parent population is 0.8? No. Uh, does it mean uh, that the um, parent population is positively correlated? No, actually, because Theoretically, you could have a data set, a large data set. Okay, so let's say this is your parent population. And you take a sample. Maybe your sample collects this set of data. The parent set of data looks like it's negatively correlated, and your sample is positively correlated. So that could potentially happen. So essentially, what we're looking at here is how strong a correlation from your sample, how strong does that need to be to convince you that the parent population is likely to be positively correlated or negatively correlated or if there is any correlation. That is the hypothesis test that we are going to consider in this section. Okay, So essentially what we're going to need to do is calculate the PMCC for a sample. I am then going to need to compare that against a critical value and from that, I can then judge whether, so there's got to be this cutoff at some point, from that I can judge whether um, I can reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Now, if you've never met hypothesis testing before, my recommendation is probably good to go to the hypothesis testing videos that I've got for A-level maths first, okay, where I introduce it from a um, binomial distribution point of view. Okay? So 
Um, I will be going through and re-explaining some of the key concepts in these videos, um, but you may want a familiarity with uh, the A-level maths hypothesis, te hypothesis testing first before you knuckle down to this one. Although I would probably say that in calculation, uh, the PMCC hypothesis test is probably easier to deal with in general than a binomial one.